Beneath the ocean's surface, a radical idea is taking shape, a colossal underwater vessel that combines the stealth of a submarine with the reach of an aircraft carrier. Imagine a carrier that doesn't sail but hides, invisible to satellites and unreachable by most modern weapons. This isn't science fiction anymore, it's the emerging concept of an underwater stealth carrier. In this video, we'll uncover how this idea began, what's driving it forward and the staggering challenges of making it real. The underwater carrier represents one of the most ambitious evolutions in naval engineering, a vessel designed to operate deep below the surface while performing the same role as a traditional carrier. It merges two powerful naval ideas, the stealth of a submarine and the power projection of a carrier. Instead of being visible on the ocean surface with massive decks and radar signatures, this platform would vanish beneath the waves, making it almost impossible to detect or target using conventional surveillance. The idea isn't entirely new. Decades ago, military engineers experimented with submarine-based aircraft carriers, such as Japan's I-400 class during World War II. Those vessels could launch seaplanes, but they remained near the surface and were limited in range and capability. What's being discussed today is vastly different. A true submersible base capable of operating hundreds of meters underwater while launching drones, submersibles, or autonomous aircraft from enclosed hangars or vertical shafts. The defining feature of this new generation of underwater carriers is flexibility. They wouldn't need massive flight decks or catapults. Instead, they could use specialized launch systems to deploy unmanned aerial or underwater vehicles stealthily. These drones could handle reconnaissance, communications relay, or even precision strikes, then return for recovery without surfacing the entire vessel. The result is a system that can move unseen, act unpredictably, and operate in environments too dangerous for traditional carriers. This concept also aligns with modern naval trends, emphasizing autonomy, modularity, and survivability. A submerged carrier could remain hidden for extended periods, relocating silently to any region without alerting potential adversaries. In a world where the surface seas are crowded with satellites, radar arrays, and long-range sensors, invisibility becomes the new form of dominance. The underwater carrier embodies that philosophy, not by outgunning others, but by outsmarting detection. As we move forward, the question becomes, what global pressures are pushing militaries toward this futuristic idea? That's what we'll explore next. The underwater carrier concept isn't born from imagination alone. It's driven by necessity. Around the world, surface ships, especially aircraft carriers, face mounting challenges from advanced detection systems and long-range anti-ship weapons. Modern sensors can spot and track even stealth-optimized vessels while hypersonic missiles and precision strike systems make surface operations increasingly risky. In such a high-threat environment, the safest place for a carrier might no longer be above the water, but beneath it. Strategically, an underwater carrier would reshape how nations think about sea control and presence. For a navy, maintaining access to contested zones while minimizing exposure is crucial. A submerged platform could slip into strategic positions undetected, ready to deploy autonomous aircraft or underwater drones for surveillance, electronic warfare, or rapid response missions. This silent presence would make it nearly impossible for rivals to predict where or when it might operate, giving its operator a continuous strategic advantage. Beyond stealth, the underwater carrier represents a paradigm shift in deterrence. Traditional carriers showcase power through visibility, they're symbols of influence and intimidation. A submerged carrier flips that logic. Its strength lies in uncertainty. If an adversary cannot locate it, they cannot target it. This ambiguity adds a psychological edge, forcing others to account for an invisible threat that could emerge anywhere in the ocean. The introduction of such platforms could trigger a global shift in maritime strategy. Other nations may rush to enhance their undersea detection networks, sonar arrays, and unmanned underwater surveillance vehicles. The naval competition would move from the surface to the depths, transforming the nature of future sea operations. This evolution could also accelerate the integration of artificial intelligence, autonomous fleets, and hybrid communication systems capable of linking underwater and airborne assets. In essence, the underwater carrier embodies the next phase of maritime evolution. Not just a new vessel, but a redefinition of how control at sea is maintained. 
As the competition for undersea supremacy intensifies, this concept could become a cornerstone of future fleets. But before that happens, immense engineering and logistical challenges must be overcome. Challenges we'll explore in the next section. Turning an underwater carrier from theory into reality would require solving some of the toughest engineering puzzles in modern naval history. The first and most obvious challenge is pressure. Operating at depths of several hundred meters subjects a vessel to enormous force, far greater than anything a surface carrier endures. The hull would need to be exceptionally strong, likely using advanced composite materials or titanium alloys to balance durability with weight efficiency. Maintaining internal stability and buoyancy control for a structure of this scale would be a monumental task. The second challenge lies in propulsion and energy. A submerged carrier must stay underwater for extended periods, powering not only its own movement, but also the systems required to operate drones, sensors, and life support. This points toward a nuclear propulsion system or a next-generation compact reactor capable of delivering continuous power silently. Electric propulsion with magnetic drive technology could also play a role, minimizing noise emissions to maintain stealth. Next comes the question of launch and recovery systems. Unlike surface carriers with open decks, an underwater carrier would need internal bays capable of deploying drones or vehicles through specialized hatches. Some concepts envision pressurized chambers that allow unmanned aerial vehicles to ascend through the water column before taking flight. Others imagine underwater drone deployment through floodable hangars that maintain stealth while recharging and relaunching robotic assets. Communication is another hurdle. Radio and GPS signals don't travel well underwater, meaning the vessel would rely on acoustic communication, laser links, or brief surfacing intervals to connect with satellites or command networks. Developing secure high bandwidth communication between underwater platforms and aerial drones will be essential for coordination and control. Lastly, the cost and logistics. Building an underwater carrier would likely rival or exceed the cost of a modern nuclear-powered carrier, running into tens of billions of dollars. Maintenance, crew training, and support infrastructure would require entirely new frameworks. For now, prototypes and small-scale modular systems may pave the way before a full-scale underwater carrier ever becomes operational. Despite these challenges, research into unmanned undersea motherships and deep-sea modular vessels shows that the concept isn't just fantasy. It's a glimpse of what the future Navy might become. The idea of an underwater stealth carrier may sound like something from science fiction, but it represents the logical next step in ocean technology. By merging stealth, autonomy, and deep-sea engineering, it redefines how nations think about safety, reach, and innovation. Whether it becomes a practical weapon or a research frontier, it's clear that the future of the oceans lies not above the surface, but deep beneath it. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. See you there.